gotta eat my feelings somehow if I can't deal with them, right? Right. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom. Sunshine whenever you smile. What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley McGrew. What it do? Really low energy. So you can see by the title, depression is back. So here we are doing a mukbang with Carl's Jr. and Popeyes and I don't even care. I'm being fat and I haven't eaten in two days and it's kind of just what I do. Been having a hard fucking time coping with anything. I am overwhelmed. So, got myself some chicken tenders from Carl's Jr. Got myself classic Western burger from Carl's Jr. And then from Popeyes, got myself a spicy chicken sandwich with extra pickles. And I also got me some Cajun fries. Got some lemon juice for my chicken. Got some ranch and barbecue for my chicken and my burger. Burgers. And I got some ketchup for my fries. Oh, and I got a drink too, which uh, it's really weak. Um, so I got this one over here if I can't hang. And my hair is a mess. I don't even care. But I kind of do. So I guess I'm going to put it up. So Carl's Jr. didn't give me any napkins. That sucks. I have extra napkins and paper towels here, but I didn't bring them in my room for the mukbang at this dinner. So we're going to improvise a little bit. I got two napkins to eat with, and I got one napkin for my ketchup. Let's see how this works out. Don't really have a point for this video except that I'm feeling very dissociated and uh, recording myself talking to a camera kind of just makes me not feel so alone makes me feel a little human for a little bit so here we are What should I talk about? These fries are always so bomb. Oh my god! Wow! Mm. Mm. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? Give it a chicken sandwich since I already started on occasion fries. If you guys haven't fucking tried these Popeyes chicken sandwiches yet, like, I don't care what the internet tells you, they're fucking fire. Like, I got extra pickles on mine. They're just, they're so bomb. I had one from Chick-fil-A first, a couple years ago. Wasn't the best, was not that impressed. Moved here last year. Yeah. That's only my third day out here, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> had a Popeyes chicken sandwich and was like, where have you been all my life? This is heaven in my mouth.
Happy Dance. Bum, bum, I'm starving. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I started eating. Mean because y'all yeah. I didn't have this fucking sandwich already. Like I got all this food here still. Most thing that I was craving and wanted was this Western burger. Now I'm looking at all this and I'm like, No, she she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. What was I thinking? How does Nico Avocado do it, bro? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. How do you just sit there and eat all that food and just... I don't know. My thing is, I don't like to... Like... I just ate half of that and I started eating my fries. Like I want to finish all of my fries first. I want to finish all that sandwich first before I start this one. But I don't know. That's that's just different for me. Western bacon sandwich. It don't look that good as it does in the commercials. But let's see if I can fix it. A little bit more pretty. There we go. A little bit, a little bit prettier. There it is. Our bacon. Seems a little flimsy and weak, but oh well. All right, what side do I start from? Mm -hmm. I should have started with this first. The chicken sandwich, it like stays crispy, but the onion rings in here. Just start with this first. Mm -hmm. I feel sick, guys. Not because I'm like eating, but like, my body is just tired and I don't know. I want to be able to do more, but I can't. And it's stupid. My my mind is weak. My body is weak. I'm not strong in any sense of the word. <laughs> mind, body, and soul are all weak. Spirit crushed. There's no motivation lately, man. Shucks. This barbecue sauce actually. Throw some on here. It's a little, it's a little dry. So I usually don't have to do this, but I'm glad I had it here just in case this time.
been feeling pretty manic lately. Like I'm sitting here doing this. I just had the urge to like burst out into song. Arlen Jackson. Or is it Tim McGraw? I don't know. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about I. I want to talk about something, something. Oh my, me, my. What I think, what I want, what I, what I see. You know, that. That's mania, guys. Welcome to my TED Talk. See, and this one doesn't make me as happy as even that one. Sad to say it, but it's true. <coughs> I'm going to regret this here soon. My stomach is going to hurt. Gotta eat my feelings somehow if I can't deal with them, right? Right. So here we are, a year into this pandemic. Doesn't look like it's really going away. We're all just kind of adapting and accommodating to whatever the fucking government orders us to do because of it. Because they run our lives. If you haven't noticed. And if you have. It might only be relevant within this last year. Because of the pandemic. Because. Mind everything. Anyways. You guys. Like I'm a fucking. Anyways. Didn't mean to have that come across like that. <laughs> I can be extra sometimes. A lot of the times, actually. I really enjoy this time to myself, just like not having to do anything. Not having to be anybody. I can sit here and have my hair fucked up. Not done. Stray away, flyaways everywhere. No makeup done. <coughs> Burping. Messy. This is my, me and my natural habitat. This is how I like to spend my time. Netflix and chill. Sit here in bed. Eat. Get fat. I don't know. Just something about it. Being who you want to be. Being comfortable with yourself. Not having to have anyone have expectations of you. Light bulb. <laughs> Maybe that's why I've always just enjoyed being a homebody. Maybe. I just don't like people. I don't like <laughs> having to fucking meet everyone's expectations. Like, I don't know.
Too much sugar. I guess I'll try this chicken. Did get it for a reason, you know. Brought the whole ass lemon juice out here. My knees are hurting sitting like this, though. Another thing, I've been really itchy lately. Been having a lot of like increasing panic attacks, anxiety attacks, night terrors, things of that nature lately. And so I'm sweating more and I think my it fucks with my skin. Like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like it just fucks with my skin. It makes it more like thin and I don't know, but I have a lot of fucking issues <laughs> Been borderline anemic like my whole life. Um, you know, I had multiple different surgeries and issues and history of family history of, you know, bad shit. So <laughs> just not fortunate. You know what? I'm all. Hmm. Let's do. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I'm probably only gonna eat one. But the cool thing about these is I have an air fryer. Shout out to my mother. So I can put those in the fridge and pop them in the air fryer, and they're gonna be better than when I first got them. You know, like, so that's the cool thing about those. Gots to do it for the mukbang. I can't just get it and not eat it and seem wasteful. Like, I've already got these two halves sandwiches right here. I'm going to make myself eat all this food. I'm not going to waste it. So, a lot of people eat, like, lemon with fish, you know? I do it with chicken. I'm just weird. Something I've done since I was little, like... One time, there was like a um, like a lemon wedge on my chicken strips or something. Like I got an appetizer portion or something somewhere when I was a kid. And there was like a lemon on the piece of chicken. And I ate that part of it and it was so freaking good. And I was like, I'm never going back. Fresh lemon is always so much better. This has like a more of a sour taste with this lemon juice, you know? So. Oh, well. It's a little messy when you do it like this too, especially because it leaks like that. But let's see what these are all made out. I never had the chicken strips from there, so. Mm. Need more lemon. <laughs> Bitch, what? Oh my god. Ooh, especially once you take that first bite. And you can put the lemon like on the actual chicken, not the skin, and let it like oh yes. Yes, this bite's gonna be so good. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh-uh, Popeyes. Change yo Dr. Pepper bag, homies. I seen that shit from the window. I was like, you know, the soda machine's usually right there by the cash register, by the window where you pick up your food. And it was like, because it's got streams. And if it don't have at least two streams of soda mixed with the carbonation, if you know anything about soda machines or you've ever worked anything like that that has soda machines and fast food, for me it was when I worked the fair. But yeah. It's just not, I was looking at it, I was like, mm, it's going to be weak. It's going to taste like shit. Sure enough, it's weak. It tastes like shit. But hey, you know, people get busy. Shit happens. I've served people fucking soda like that and worse before. Just hoping that they wouldn't come back. Like, you know, karma's a bitch. Maybe that's why I got a weak soda today. I don't fucking know, but yeah. Uh, now that my napkin is wetter than my chicken. Definitely fucking overdid it, you guys. I mean, that was kind of the plan, but... Holy fuck. I still got four of these bitches. So half of my fucking fries. So this half a burger. That half a burger. I drank too much soda, too, is what it was. I filled up on that shit. I don't know how these mukbangers do it, man. Like, I couldn't fucking imagine eating more than this. I would say you're gonna eat french fries because that's french fries or like potato chips because you're fucking eating as much as well. I have no idea what the fuck you just said. I was saying you're gonna eat french fries because that's french fries or like potato chips because you're fucking eating as much as you want. Kind of. Okay, 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 man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. This is what we're going to do, man. I don't know. I switched up my accent like four different people right there. Do you guys hear that? You hear it? It's ice cream truck. And that is my cue to go. And not because I'm getting ice cream, but because I'm done. Because I've ate so much more than I probably should have and that I can. So I'm going to go put this away. And thank you guys for watching this freaking mukbang. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching this freaking mukbang i appreciate you all and uh like comment subscribe share with a friend and uh follow my social medias or whatever if you want to uh i might get better one of these days you know for the ride click subscribe see you next time oh regular dr seuss ass b bye <laughs>